1179. Welcome back to another Gaming Memories video. And here we are looking at a fun little game called Felony 1179 that was actually released on the PlayStation way back in 1997. And it's a short enough game. There's only an access of three tracks and you have about a number of vehicles, I think about 20 vehicles in it that you can unlock through your playthroughs. Essentially the premise of the game is actually, it has kind of like a Grand Theft Auto kind of style to it where you're going around different types of environments like cityscapes and stuff where you're just causing as much damage as possible and trying to complete objectives like you're hitting cars and trying to steal stuff and so forth and then trying to make your escape along with causing as much damage as humanly possible in, on your run as well. So it's actually quite fun to actually play, especially for a quick playthrough. This game now was also called Runabout outside of Europe, mainly in Japan and America. So back in those days, games generally usually always had different names depending on the region. So sometimes it could lead to a bit of confusion as to what the games were. But apart from that, it still was actually a fun little game. I remember the first time I actually I was introduced to it, it was actually on one of the demo discs that I had actually got. Because I do mention in previous videos, I used to collect demo discs and play demos an awful lot as well. Because just to, to be honest, most of them were just as much fun as playing the original games. And the level that was on the demo, it's actually, it's not this one, it's actually the, the next level that I'll be showing you now in a few moments. And I remember myself and my brothers and that actually had a great laugh with this game, actually, we actually thought it was quite fun because it was just, you just, you know, all you were doing was just causing as much mayhem as possible. Yes, the, the graphics in the game probably wouldn't have been as good as compared to some other games out there, but that didn't matter because it was just, it was, this game was actually just a fun little game to play. The handling and the mechanics of the game were very, very twitchy, but that added to the fun element of it as well. The only thing that it kind of would find a bit annoying is the actual sound of the whatever vehicle that you had. Every car sounded the same, and it didn't even sound like an actual car. It sounded like you were driving a big bus or a lorry or something like that. So it did. But again, apart from those little gripes, the game was actually very fun to play. Like, see, like, see there, you can crash into things. You can people be running out of your way and just you can just genuinely have just a genuinely good laugh playing this game especially if you wanted a quick fix and you just wanted a casual playthrough this was actually genuinely a fun game to actually play so it was but I remember actually playing the demo and we were you play we played through it quite a few times because the one thing that actually was really really cool about this game was even though right, you had a set track in an environment, but there was loads of different hidden areas and shortcuts that you could utilize and that you could find. So you'd actually have just as much fun actually exploring through the levels in this game as you would actually playing through it. But that was actually the cool thing about it, especially back in those days when you were learning kind of different things about games and you were just enjoying the experiences that you had. You got so much fun out of even like games like these here, like in, even in car games, being able to just explore the environment and stuff. It's it just so much fun. It really was like. So myself and my brothers and even some of my friends, when we actually when they seen this here, was like as well. They were like, you know what, this is actually a good laugh. You can you can genuinely have a good laugh with this. It's just if you want anything to cause mayhem or just destruction, this is definitely a game to it that, that, that is worth having a go. Again. In saying that, it probably isn't the easiest of games to pick up and play due to the driving mechanics and it can be quite difficult, especially if you get stuck and you'll be drifting all over the place and you're crashing into everything. But when you get the hang of it, it was actually quite good fun. Even if it was only for a short blast, you would definitely enjoy it. Now again, there's like three different tracks in the game that actually are around three different types of cities and so forth. And the level of detail is quite decent for the game, even though right, it may not be up to spec compared to some other games that are out there, but for what it genuinely offers, you know, you want simplistic kind of fun, this game actually does have that, so 
it really really is actually like I said it's actually a fun little game to actually play so essentially all you're doing is you be completing objectives and then you're literally just darting away to try and get to the finish line within the time limit so it adds that little bit of a challenge to it as well and then again you have your point system based on the amount of money the damage that you can actually do so the more damage that you can create the better actually in the game that's what made it so much more fun and again like this is actually kind of re this was released kind of like before the likes of Grand Theft Auto and so forth so it, it was interesting to see that the developers were already starting to come up with ideas for these type of games back then so it which was really cool and like I always mention in the videos the PlayStation and the likes of that era of consoles even the likes of the Sega Saturn and all those type of consoles they were the prime place to really experiment and for developers really to kind of just try new things and see what works and what didn't and it was awesome to see what they were able to do with the limitations of the likes of the hardware at the time and even games like this here Yes, they may not be up to spec compared to some games, but even these type of games here were so much fun. You could really have a blast with them, so you could. So, it, it didn't have to all look polished and pretty for you to enjoy it. That, that was the, the thing I loved about it the most. Because some of the games, some of the best games I've ever played on the PlayStation are the games that didn't look the best graphically. And even the likes of this here. Some of the games I had the most fun with were games that didn't look particularly pleasing, but yet you just had an awful lot of fun with them. Regardless. Because they, what they lacked in graphical quality, they made up for in other areas. As I say, like every game like on the PlayStation for its time was unique in its own way, because each game provided something different. They all told their own stories even down to the fact it's even just like with simple kind of like racing games like this here and even with more action orientated games like with story based games and that you can see where things were actually going in terms of being able to tell good stories and you can see that as time has gone on that actually has gotten better as, as time has gone on but again it all has to start somewhere so that's that's what adds to the appeal of these old games because you could see how far it's actually come along and where they actually started so it, it does and it's always fun to go back to these type of games so again the level here that I'm playing here now is actually was actually the demo, the demo level that I mentioned and I remember like myself and the lads actually played this a t played this a ton we just had so much fun with this here just again just you had access to that truck and you were just going around causing as much havoc as humanly possible and the one good thing about this hero type of game as well is it actually had a real funky kind of like soft rock kind of soundtrack as well which added to the, the style of the game. It just, it was it was light and it was very upbeat so which it really added to the tone of the game so it was just, it mainly just all about fun. It wasn't serious at any point at all. It was just, if you wanted a good laugh this was definitely a good game to actually play even if it was only for a short while. It wouldn't take you long to literally run through everything, like all the levels and unlock most of the stuff. But still, for what it is, you just have a genuinely good laugh. So even when you look at some of the environments and the surroundings and stuff like that, it is actually quite funny. And you can see in certain ways that they do actually take the mick out of certain things as well. You can, when you go past certain areas, you'll hear different likes of sound effects of people screaming and even like animals kind of making their sounds as well. So it was it was, it was just really funny, like. Yeah, it was just it was so much fun, it just caused as much devastation as possible.
and like each of the levels like in the game offer their own unique challenges as well and some of them were probably a wee bit longer than others but they, that all added to the element of the, of the fun in the game and like I said they all had their own kind of style and their own level of difficulty and you just you could play it through them pretty much as you wanted to again you would have objectives to complete but it was totally up to you pretty much how you wanted to play it if you wanted to complete the objectives or if you literally just wanted to go crazy and just destroy everything which is usually the case of what I did because I always thought that was the most fun part of the game just, just cause as much havoc as humanly possible and even back then as well like in those early type of games as well that was a lot of that was unheard of like in a lot of those type of games where you could literally just go nuts in games like this here where you could just have so much fun but as, as you can see with these type of games, you can gradually see as games went on that that actually started to become more noticeable. A lot more games started to take on those ideas as well. So I suppose when you look at games like this here, a lot of these games would have kind of started a lot of that as well. So it's, it is pretty unique for its time. And again, your different routes and so forth in each level that you could actually take. You were having to dodge traffic, you were moving out of the way of people. You could take shortcuts, especially you could take other areas that could actually get you through more tougher areas. You didn't have to avoid as much traffic and so forth. And it would actually come in handy later on, especially if you had damaged the car beyond the point that, it's, that you're about to literally just destroy it all together. At least you could use some of these shortcuts to avoid a lot of the heavy traffic and potential danger areas where you could literally just kill your car off altogether so that you could get through the level but again this just added all to the fun of it as well now this was actually a quite a good game it was a, it's a good fun game if you want something that's real quick and just a bit of a quick fix and you want to have a laugh I would definitely give this game a go so I'd like to know your experiences of this game how did you find it did you have as much fun playing this here as well let me know down in the comments below because it is actually a fun game a good casual game to play so if you've enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like also hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be updated to future videos and you'll be notified when I do release another video and as always make sure to keep playing those classic games and make sure to keep those gaming memories alive